So dementia is a multiple progressive disease that affects nerve cell function and survival. It's an umbrella term describing that. Um, and that can be accumulation of abnormal proteins in the brain. It can be inflammation in the brain or reduced blood flow to nerve cells in the brain. Or it can be a combination of all of those. And that results in decline in brain function. So that's our memory, it's our thinking, and it can be our behaviour. Alzheimer's disease is just a description of the most common type of dementia. So about 70% of people um, have Alzheimer's disease. Around about 25 to 30% of people can have what's called vascular cognitive impairment. And there are other types of dementia like Lewy body dementia and frontotemporal dementia, which are less common. People in different ways. It depends on the type of dementia. So for Alzheimer's disease, um, the most common feature is early loss of memory and then it becomes progressive and other changes happen. In something like a vascular dementia, people are more likely to have greater problems with thinking and reasoning things through. Um, in Lewy body dementia, people often have a fluctuation in their cognition. Um, so sometimes they're quite lucid and other times quite confused. Um, and that can also um, result in them having visual hallucinations and problems with balance. So they can fall over more frequently. And in frontotemporal dementia, there are two different uh, main variants. One is behavioural and one is language. So people with the behavioural variant often have great difficulty managing their behaviour, um, controlling their behaviour. Uh, and uh, people with the language variant have difficulty with speaking. So it really depends on the type of dementia, how it actually presents. So there's lots of reasons we're hearing more about dementia in the media. It's, it's more um, socially acceptable to talk about dementia now, which is a good thing. Um, but also as our population ages, and age being the, one of the greatest um, non modifiable risk factors for developing dementia, more people are actually getting dementia. Um, it's now the leading cause of death in women in Australia, um, and it's also the leading cause of disability. So there's a lot more people out there with problems with their cognition and, and we're more likely to talk about it and we're more likely to accommodate people with dementia in our community. So there's some positives in that. Mm -hmm.